So this there comes the end of uh, the Bye. technical study technical session. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. And now we are moving to the sixth plenary section. And the chairperson, sorry, the chief guest of this plenary session is Santiana S S. So let me introduce her. She is an assistant professor at English Dep English Education Department, Faculty of Educational Sciences, and teaches training Shiliwan University, Indonesia. She graduated from Universitas Pendidigan, Indonesia, Bandung, majoring in English Education for her master degree. She teaches technology enhanced language learning, digital storytelling, literature, and ELT subjects. Her research interests are on technological enhanced language learning, English language teaching, ICT for learning, and teacher education. She has published several articles related to her research interests and presented her article at several international conferences. She loves singing and traditional dancing. Sandiana Essas is the head of the Center for Cooperation, Shiliwang University, Choir Advice from Swarabuana Shiliwangi and Shiliwangi University. So I welcome you, ma'am. All to you. Thank you, Ms. Mina Sabu. May I share the screen? Yeah, ma'am, you can share your screen. All right, thank you. All right, is it visible? Hello? Is that visible, ma'am? Yeah, it's visible, ma'am. All right, thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure to welcome you, uh, to welcome you all to the three-day international virtual conference on gender uh, studies. I'm Santiana from Siliwang University, Indonesia, and also the representative of Indonesian Shared to Care Volunteers. Uh, on this great occasion, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the committee of the three days International Fintral Conference on Genders uh, Study, which held by a Bishop Kerala College Women of uh, India and Catholic Comorian Trust India, who gave me a chance to deliver a little bit talk entitled uh, Women's Role in the Digital Era challenges and opportunities. All right, ladies and gentlemen, talking about the gender issue, uh, women and men have uh, equality so that women and men uh, have the same opportunity access and opportunity as development resources. Equality is a target that must be achieved in the medium and long-term national development goals and the millennium development goals. The directions of uh, development in the fourth industrial revolution is toward the digital economy and technology. And then making the science, technology, uh, engineering and mathematics industry have a promising prospect. Mm, indirectly, the digital system has changed human work to be faster and more uh, efficient. So um, the Industrial Revolution 4.0 is an era marked by artificial intelligence that the era of uh, supercomputers, genetic engineering, innovation and rapid change that have an impact on the economy, industry, government, and politics. The symptoms include the many sources of information through social media, 
for example, YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and so on and so forth. And the presence of the Industrial Revolution 4.0 should be utilized and managed properly by women because it has a promising prospect for the positions for women as part of what civilization. So uh, the issues of gender uh, equality here um, could be some kinds of gender issue. The first is the developments of science and technology. In this issue, it has uh, an impact on the increasingly complex roles of women. The eras of industrial revolution 4.0 was marked by the rapid developments of information and communication technology, or we call it ICT. Through the developments of information and communication technology, the trivial uh, dissemination and uh, presentations of information can be carried out quickly and accurately. The positive influence of the developments of information and communication technology on all aspects of human life, such as facilitating communication and obtaining wider information can encourage economic growth and can optimize labor efficiency. Uh, uh, the next gender issue is a mastery of information and communication technology provides a wider opportunity to advance and improve the qualities of life. Women as a partner in development today must improve their abilities in all aspects, including masteries of information and communication technology. The importance of um, the access and use of information and communication technology for women is because of uh, women have a very strategic role as a housewife and at the same time also have a role in society. And realizing to these matters, an increasing women's role in the development, the government has implemented uh, women's empowerment. So the equality of access and masteries of information and communication technology for women and men has become a global concern. Ladies and gentlemen, another gender issue in Indonesia is uh, recognition of equality between women and men. Recognition of equality between men and women uh, has become a global issue in Indonesia. But the gap in access to and mastery of communication and information technology between women and men is still a quite large. The data from the International Telecommunication Union so that the uh, percentage of women using information and communication technology is still lower than men. It is uh, also uh, related to the Hopkin and Target 2001, which say in the inhibiting factor for women in developing country in mastering information and communication technology are education, literacy, language, time, cost, social and cultural norms. And this has an impact on the level of women participation in development. The view of society, which is uh, still view women as a being in the family, trapped a woman into not taking part in work outside the home. Its individual has intrinsic freedom and, and this freedom is uh, equal. They should not be uh, limited by the conditions of work, for example, biological and have an unlimited potential to develop. Ladies and gentlemen, another gender issue is level of education. Uh, gender equality is in the spotlight in order to advance the roles of women in development. 
seen from the point of view of the intellectual ability of men and women in the same capacity and potential so that um, men and women can be as uh, equal whereas if it is observed that specific abilities are of course different because uh, of their femininity then equality becomes inappropriate and in this case uh, equality if it is seen as having the same for example 50 50 then i think that the concept of equality will never occur uh, this equality indicate that men and women must have the same capacities and then preferences and needs so that ideally they should achieve the some levels of health education income and political participation implicitly here it is also not recognized that they are an equal between men and women so uh, based on the spirits of equality today men's interest in obtaining gen uh, degrees related to the science technology engineering and mathematic industry is uh, quite large as uh, evidenced by the large numbers of women interested in being able to study technology and science majors this is a positive development for women to take a strategic position in national and national building and the education has significant influence on the gap between women and men this means that education can narrow the gap between women and men the uh, equitable education is very necessary for all peoples including women so the compulsory education launched by the government provide opportunities for women to be able to uh, empower themselves so that they can take a strategic role in nation building so based on the st uh, stereotype of indonesian women there are uh, so many but i will uh, tell you some for example a must get married and have a children this is a stereotype of indonesian women that required them to get married immediately when they reach a certain age and if a woman is not married at the in uh, a young age for example it will be the subject of a questions and this is something that is not natural um, after um, they get married and then appear a kinds of problem uh, for example the next thing was they had to have a children otherwise it should be uh, considered infertile or uh, sinful another stereotype of indonesian women is um must be a a housewife who doesn't not uh, uh work because the obligation to earn and living lies with her husband so with her role as the housewife a woman must be able to take care of everything related to the household matters and then another set of types of indonesian women is um the indonesian woman must be able to cook here if a woman cannot cook she will be an object of ridicules actually they in uh, uh have to cook and prepare various types of food that will be eaten by uh, the family and then uh, before marriage Indonesian women are usually tasked to see whether they can cook or not by their perspective in laws and I don't think this appear in another uh, country and the next stereotypes in Indonesian women is um, cannot be a leader the stereotype of Indonesian women state that uh, Indonesian women cannot become a leaders because um, uh, by their natures men are required to be a leader so indonesian women are considered incapable of leading a company or anything because they are seen a weak and incompetent okay um ladies and gentlemen 
beside a uh, stereotype of Indonesian women, there are also uh, exist the stereotype of technology usage. For example, many people think that the use of technology is only a man field. Thus, uh, women are not suitable to work in field that are closely related to the use of technology. That is uh, also an assumption that men are more skilled than women. This is a uh, based on the fact that women have various kinds of limitation which they feel they cannot keep up with the skill of men. And another uh, stereotype of the technology uses is um, the assumption that men are more reliable while women is not. Um, men can spend more time, um, more, more time than women. And then why women have limited time because of their nature as a housewife, for example, who also have to care of their family and then who took care of the children and also the husband. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we come up to the technology. So I use a descriptive case a study as a research design to know the challenges and opportunities of women in digital era. And then there are 100 participants and all of uh, women in West Java who are ready to be a participant. And the age is about 25 uh, to 45 years old. And then I use two kinds of instruments. There are semi structures, uh, interview and questionnaire. And I use uh, a thematic analysis to analyze my data. And then there are six steps of thematic analysis uh, based on Brown and Clark 2006. The first is formalizing with the data, uh, which is made a data transcript and data translation. And the second one is generating initial codes, which is classified into several codes with the relevant data. And then searching for team, uh, this is, uh, I analyze the code on uh, the data, then classified into the theme and reviewing potential team. And then I also do the divining and naming team, and then to reduce the data and also the get name for each team. And the last is producing the report. All right, uh, based on the data, there are two kinds of results here. It's related to challenges. And uh, the second one is the opportunities. So uh, if we talk about the uh, women's challenges in digital era, um, we can uh, see that the, digital, uh, the digitalization is transforming economic activities with a new industries uh, emerging for example, artificial intelligence, and then new technologies, for example, um, cloud computing, or new ways of working, such as a gig economic and more communication opportunities, such as uh, connecting smaller business to global market. Digitization is changing how product and service are produced and then distributed and sold across borders. And the, the challenges of the digital world are creativity and change, actually. There is a huge gap between uh, women and men in terms of digital skill in this case. And this is because there is uh, still a lack of understanding of women about things related to the digital. This is also uh, supported by the fact that only a few Indonesian women are engaged in the digital field and uh, the lack of use of technology, uh, digital technology. And then uh, the women's challenges in digital era is also related to how to interact in digital era. Uh, digital technology present new ways of interaction 
including and bringing out business potential that have not existed before so that when they want to enter the digital world women really understand their role correctly and don't just follow the trend here a woman in digital era are not enough to take part only as a I mean, uh, women in digital are not only enough to take a part only as a housewife, but are also required to be able to take a part in family business and in career world. So um, the roles of information and communication technology in carrying out uh, tasks in the family can provide insight in educating and managing the household in a modern way as a mean to a fine way to solve the problem in educating children and taking care of the whole school. In the social field, the laws of information and communication technology for women can be used as an important tool in economic empowerment and which is uh, currently economic activities can be done online. Besides, it can also encourage more social activities to be carried out. And uh, the next challenging is um, kinds of teach and nurture to next generation. A mother uh, needs to open herself, open her mind, and want to continue to learn to keep up with changing time, which of course is followed by changes the behavior and then changes the character and attitudes of children who live in this era. Women as uh, educators of the next generation must be able to apply religious value and then kindness and moral in a different ways from ancient time. And uh, this is also the challenges for women in the digital era is the active partner with a man. So women become active mother of man in overcoming social, economic, uh, political, cultural, educational problem that are directed at equitable development. The strategic role of women in nation building cannot be underestimated. So women here, play a strategic role, namely as a domestic worker, for example, managing the, the, the house, rising and caring for children, and then acting as transition worker, for example, working in the family or business sectors, and as a worker outside the household as a career woman. Indeed, women have a tremendous potential that can be utilized for the progress of the nation. Educate the nation's next generation as the first and foremost education provider for the, their children. So uh, women need to have broad insights and experience in the fields of information and communication technology so that they can carry out their uh, roles optimally. This uh, will have an impact on the birth of the next generation people who are intelligent and have a uh, conscience. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, another result is related to the women's roles in digital era. Here are based on the challenges and the opportunities. It is undeniable that the concept in the human workplace to what digitalization is become more evident. This is a challenge that needs to be responded well by all groups, including women, to continue and then to learn and to adapt to the environmental change so that they can be equal to men. And then uh, related to the opportunities, there are some kinds of effort to attract women to enter the industrial world have been carried out by various parties. 
uh, women and children have something strategies in the future and then the government is should also uh, trying to issue regulation that uh, are poor women including the protection uh, in addition the government also encourage program related to the woman empowerment uh, it's related to uh, some kinds of innovative program so here the government effort to empower women are expected to provide opportunities for women to work part-time for example as a programmer if all parties uh, can participate Indonesian women will be more empowered, including in the industrial world. So women here must open up and want to continue to learn to keep up with the changing time. So here, women as the educator of the uh, next generation must be able to do a lot of uh, uh, in order to become a generation that is able to compete in the global era uh, is ethical and also proud both of themselves and their families and communities and nation and also the countries so the roles of women in the development can be uh, maximized by improving the qualities of life especially access to educational health and legal facilities this is uh, this uh, so that the government is very very serious in protecting and women uh, empowering a woman and here women are given guarantee for the expansion of opportunity to participate both in the political uh, and to be active also involved in the various activities related to uh, national development both within the, the centrals and the regional uh, government and also certain kinds of organization or group or as well as um, in the environment where they live uh, um, and then in order to 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 increase the involvement of uh, women in nation building, it is very necessary to hold empowerment program for the community, especially for women, such as uh, skill training, entrepreneurship, and the use of the latest technology that cover all region and uh, is adapted to the characteristic and the needs of each region so that women can act as equal partner to men in making positive contribution to realizing gender inclusive and gender responsive national development so ladies and gentlemen to uh, based on the data we can sum up that the roles of indonesian women in the digital era can be done as the interior decorators uh, designers, uh, also educators, uh, creative content, or as a YouTubers, and also being a writer and producers, and also producer and managers of event horizon. And um, there are so many uh, Indonesian women who also being a makeup artist and catering entrepreneurs. So, in conclusion. Based on the data, um, the roles of women in digital era is not enough to only act as a housewife, but also uh, required to be able to play a role outside the home, such as uh, doing family business or as a career woman. The digital era provides great opportunities for women to have a wider role but a few are able to take advantages uh, of this opportunity. Women have a very strategic role in development and so therefore support from various parties is needed. Uh, the government has implemented a gender equality program that integrates gender in the flows of development 
and then placing women as the subjects of development. The challenges faced by the women in, uh, in optimizing their role in the development of how to change the permissive attitude of society and cultural practices that limit women's progress. On the other hand, women are required to have broad insight, smart and technology literate. This is all my presentation. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Good afternoon. I, I I I can't hear your voice. Minya, um, uh, you are not audible now. Please check your audio. Hope now I am audible. Yes, you are audible. Hope. Yeah, thank you so much, ma'am. So it, it was a wonderful section for us. Okay, yeah, now we can move on to the discussion section. So those who have any questions or queries, kindly ask now. You can unmute yourself and ask question. So this is the time for discussion. Uh, hello. Yeah. 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 yeah you can. You hello. Ah, uh, am I audible now? Yeah. Yeah, you are. You are audible. Yes. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Yes, sir. You are audible. I, I, I want to ask, uh, respected ma'am, as far as the social conditions and scenarios are concerned, what what are the basic difference or challenges against the women to maintain their dignity? Uh, in a social life as a woman in the comparison of Indian social scenario or Indian social hierarchy. Ma'am, can you unmute yourself? Sandhya, ma'am, your mic is off. Please switch on your mic. All right. Uh, no. I think that's the, the, the last word. Oh, yeah. Can you repeat? Am I audible now? All right. Let me repeat my question. As far as the social conditions, uh, different social conditions are concerned, uh, in Indian social scenario and Indonesian social scenario, which are the special challenges, according to you, against the maintaining, uh, maintaining the social dignity of women in modern uh -huh. society? All right. This is what Thank I you, want sir. to ask. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, based on my opinion, as I uh, told you in the in my presentation, that Indonesian women must be able to uh, open their mind, and then they cannot be uh, only just uh, as a housewife, but then they should be able to uh, open up their mind and then try to, uh, what's that, familiar with the digital era so that they can optimize their potential, uh, whatever uh, they uh, they are as a woman. So for example, they can making uh, some kinds of business from their homes. And then as I mentioned in the last uh, uh, slide that there are so many kinds of careers that can be uh, what that uh, be or doing by the Indonesian woman, such as educators and then uh, YouTubers, uh, makeup artists, uh, entrepreneurs, and so on, so on. So, so I think uh, the kinds of uh, what's that activities can be can be done by the Indonesian woman, and I think it is can be also done by Indians. Do you feel that, uh, honestly feel that uh, some, as far as the religious restrictions are concerned, it matters much? Uh, yes, because in 
in our uh, culture, there are some kinds of border between men and women. So uh, it is uh, some kinds of assumption that for uh, being, uh, what's that? Uh, to live life, it is a man should be done. So a uh, woman is only stay at home, uh, carrying everything related to their family, their children, their husbands, so that they only stay at home, not doing anything. But then uh, in the, what's that? In the modern era, in digital era, so there are so many kinds of activities that can be done by the women in their host. Uh, they can, what's that? Mm, uh, start, uh, start up the kinds of activities. Uh, and can communicate with others. And I think it is will help uh, her husband to getting or earn the money. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for uh, answering my question in detail. Thank you so much. Thank you, doctor, for your question. Thank you so much, ma'am. Those who have any other another question, kindly ask now. I hope there is no more questions. So thank you so much, ma'am. So it was a wonderful section. And thank you for accepting our invitation and being part of this three-day virtual conference. And it was an insightful section. Once again, thank you.